Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your week ahead, Monday, no, Tuesday through Monday, the 11th through the 17th. Um, we're going to look at each day, day by day, and see what's going on because it looks like there is movement. All right, so Taurus, let's see what's going on. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. I did. My babies uh, pampered me. So I hope you guys did as well. All right, so Taurus, um, remember the energies can go both ways. Can be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. Um, also this week, the 11th, so that's Tuesday. It's the new moon in Taurus, so a good time to start projects, things like that. Um, Alright, so just remember it's a general reading and take what's yours and leave the rest behind. So your emotions are here this week. Uh, and I just say that and it may be, it could be... Alright, I'm just going to run over what's, what's coming off the cards real quick. If it's not your story, don't take it, okay? So you love someone it could be a water sign it could be a Capricorn another Taurus could be younger it doesn't have to be any of those you but you have feelings for this person you definitely do there's like a strong attachment here this person <laughs> wow something in the room fell over all right this person um they could be a Capricorn, but they could be kind of toxic or there could be some type of temptation this week. So, all right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. Because for the overall energy of the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, somebody, there's some type of connection or commitment, marriage. It does, you know, something that was stable, that had potential. Uh, somebody's not trying to let go of. It's what it's boiling down to. Hold on, this table is squeaking and that shit drives me crazy. All right, so Tuesday, straight off the bat. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, but you have the devil here. Capricorn energy, but temptation at its finest, right? Look at, I love the, the devil in this deck because the way it just looks at you, it's like, um, I don't know what you call it them eyes exactly with this king of wands aries leo sag energy it doesn't have to be though the king of wands is he's fun he's exciting he's got that smile that charisma but he can also be uh the kind of relationship that's like fun but never he's he can be toxic he or she yeah, the Knight of Wands. So, wow. This is that King's action. Somebody is coming racing towards you and it's it's tempting as hell. Um, it could be like high sexual energy or it could just be somebody who's very seductive and persuasive. The Knight of Wands. This could be somebody, like I said, who is uh, younger or somebody who's in and out. But there's temptation there. Tower. Big, big change from what has has been going on because it looks like at the at the, um somebody is trying to clear things up like clear up a situation that may have been happening in the past but that's a lot of temptation the energy coming off of it yeah see the lovers gemini energy it looks like it's kind of um tempting i'm just gonna put it there like sweet talker type shit all right, so for Wednesday, you have the Knight of Wands again, who you had over here. Showing this Knight of Wands for Taurus for Tuesday. The Judgment. And the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to have a decision to make. Don't kind of... You may not see this right now. Because it comes back to um, this person and it feels like... Regardless of sign, there are feelings involved. Show me the Queen of Pentacles for Wednesday. And it feels like it's in regards to this situation that was going on on Tuesday. Sorry, we're looking at Wednesday now. 
yeah we're right back to this devil energy it looks like the same thing that was the same situation kind of carrying over so it does make me feel like maybe you went with temptation <laughs> excuse me um could be a virgo capricorn again um this could be a reconciliation but there's love here around this so that may make it a little harder to tear away from but it's like emphasis on the fact that there's love but again just be mindful because with the knight of wands um and the devil here a lot of temptation but it usually and not all the times it usually doesn't stabilize like that's a a fun time to go out especially like with that knight of wands the king of wands like you're gonna probably have a fantastic time but it's may not be as long lived there but we'll see we'll see we'll see maybe all right show me the king of cups for thursday for taurus so cancer scorpio pisces energy um too many but nonetheless someone that you have feelings for and it's vice versa because remember like i said there's mutual love and you have the king and queen of cups both here for the week ahead so you're definitely um, it feels like in your feelings. Show me this three of swords. Wow. All right. Well, maybe some of you aren't uh, accepting this offer. With the king of pentacles at the bottom, something's done happen here. And remember, this is the week ahead. So I'm going to timestamp it below, but it'll make it more, it'll make more sense now. Um, I mean, then versus now because it looks like there's an offer here that you're not you're kind of turning your back you're not reaching out and grabbing you're not and it could be in relation to this ace of cups to some type of new start because you have the king of cups the three of swords and the five of pentacles so this is maybe some type of distance or separation there could be money issues around it but this is somebody hurting feeling ghosted feeling lonely heartbroken oh hey the seven of swords that should just had a pop out right yeah so somebody here is <sighs> all right remember it's a general reading but i'm gonna tell you what's happening and that's why this it's kind of been what i'm saying because it's fun and exciting but it doesn't last so somebody here is it looks like not interested in an opportunity or not reaching out and grabbing it but this could go a couple of ways with the three of swords the seven of swords this could be a third party situation um and so somebody's kind of falling back whether that's you or them but this could also be this is a liar cheater thief and we have a card of poverty so we could either have a third party situation we could have something around money but something's happening there and it's like it all falls back a little bit it's um probably dishonest uh, i mean with the seven of swords there's somebody being dishonest about something there either third party or something around money but either way somebody's ghosting something yeah there's unhappiness there's letdown all around it i think you know it comes back to be regretted but for right now that's what it is show me the six of cups for taurus for friday So the Six of Cups usually falls right after, or not usually falls, but anyways, it's right after this Five of Cups. So you have the regret and then somebody wants to come back around. So let's see what's happening with that Friday for Taurus shit. Hold on y'all, I dropped it. You got the High Priestess there, so definitely trust your intuition, the communication in the Queen of Cups. This is that person, but you're matching their energies, right? Because the Queen of Cups is also here for Saturday. So there, but the Queen of Cups can be this person's energy just in a more sensitive feminine way. Um, so this could involve children. Your intuition is very high this day with on this day on Friday with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. So trust, trust, trust it. But it looks like, you know, there's communication. This is trying to wrap back around and start something new. Um, because somebody is stressed out so much. They could be watching you. Like, especially if you're in a spotlight or out doing your thing. 
Um, so, kind of seems like somebody was dishonest one day and the next day they're like trying to talk to you. Show me the Queen of Cups for Sunday for Taurus. Because remember the Queen of Cups again was here for Friday. So it's, it's like this energy is carrying over. The Six of Swords. Could be moving, could be traveling, but you're leaving this energy of, it seems like pain. Uh, with the Emperor, yeah, somebody's not letting go of it. I think some things may be revealed. This person may tell you something. The Page of Cups, you're going forward with your feelings here. There could be an apology, but you're moving forward from this shit in the a few days ago that was hurting is basically what it is a letting emotions in like raw emotions take over all right so taurus show me sunday for taurus please you have the hierophant which is your energy oh the ace of pentacles so there is an opportunity this could have to do with your money um because with the Nine of Pentacles, um, that is about self. So possibly something about yourself or maybe, um, give me one more. What is this opportunity? It feels like it brings a lot of abundance with it. The Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords. So you may not see this. Uh, don't cut off your intuition. Don't cut off your higher self. Because there is an offer coming straight towards you. But I feel like if this has to do with money, you're very passionate about it. And it's going to bring like a lot of stability and abundance behind it. There could be someone else for some that pops up that day that causes you to have to make a decision but don't block out that intuition okay because i feel like on some level and you know it's going to be different for all and it's still a little ways out but there is like a defensive barrier like either ignoring something or kind of maybe just pushing this away we'll have to see how it goes when it gets closer all right, so Faux Tuesday, you have the Ten of Wands. Show me the Ten of Wands for Taurus for Tuesday. Yeah, and at this point, you're working hard. It looks like for your money. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but with Temperance there, uh, give me one more. Because it feels like by the end of the week, things are maybe switching off a little bit. The Ten of Wands again, the Five of Swords. So don't get caught up in illusion because it looks like something, you know, you could just be really working a lot for stability, but you're kind of, uh, it feels like there's something there that maybe you're trying to let go of or to at least make peace with because there has been a sense of, you know, somebody trying to block out something. Show me the Five of Swords. Yeah. You're looking at ways to move forward here. I think you're feeling good. You may have some jealousy around you because there is a lot of stability around the hard work that you're putting in. But at the same time, you're kind of, you're, you're, it feels like you're releasing something because of this guardedness. It's like worried about something so much to the point that somebody may turn their back or they have turned their back. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. This weather keeps changing so much. All right. So it's kind of... There's definitely feelings here, but there's also something, you know, some, at the very least, like, behavior patterns that keep repeating here. It's like, on again, off again. I love you, but go. I love you, but I'm coming. I love you, but I'm lying. I don't, you know, it's different for each situation. This is... feelings all over the place I think um overall you're like especially financially headed in a good direction I would just be mindful of um this temptation that's coming towards you because it's looking like a couple of dates it may be stable 
And then on the third day, somebody is maybe bullshitting again. So take it how it resonates. All right, Taurus. I hope this helps. I hope it resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Uh, I love reading all you guys' comments. I love that. So, um, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.